explore, explore. We're all about it. Explore, explore. Explore, explore. God's word, don't doubt it. Explore, explore. We've got the Bible beat, so get on your feet. It's time to sing and praise. God's word is true. Jesus is there for you. It's time to sing and praise. Explore, explore. We're all about it. Explore, explore. Explore, explore, God's word, don't doubt it, explore, explore. The more we go, the more we grow, it's time to sing and praise. Jesus and you and your friends too, it's time to sing, it's time to sing and praise. Hey everyone, welcome back to Kids Explore. And I hope you're having an amazing day. Parents, we would love it if you would get involved with us. So please don't be afraid to get up and dance with us during worship and maybe do a craft of your own. So, do we have any new people with us today? If so, welcome and we're so happy to have you with us. And did we have any birthdays this week? Happy birthday and I hope you got to eat lots of cake. Today we're continuing our journey called Me To We where we learn that it is not always about us, but that we also need to care about those that are around us. But before we get into that, we're going to pray and then jump straight into worship. So let's bow our heads in prayer. Dear God, thank you for today. Please may you open our ears and soften our hearts for what we're about to learn. Amen. Now let's get into worship.
Worship was amazing. Thank you, team. So today's memory verse is from Ephesians 4, verse 32. It says, Instead, be kind and tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God, through Christ, has forgiven you. Today, we are going to learn about how to care for one another. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, oh, don't worry. I just have a skin disease called leprosy, but that's okay. Don't be afraid. I'm going to come take care of you. Come. I'll come take care of you. Are you sure? Yeah. She probably shouldn't touch me because it's very contagious. Yes? I had a dream. Okay. And what did you dream about? I dreamt that if you go down to the river okay. and wash seven times, seven. that God will heal you of your leprosy. Wash seven times in the river and God will heal me? Yes. That sounds funny. Uh, I think you really must try it because you've been so kind to me. I really want you to be healed. I'm not so sure, but if you think so, come, Master, I can come. do it. That, that's amazing. That is amazing. God is so good. And boys and girls, what we want you to learn from this story is that this guy Naaman, that was his name in the Bible, he was kind to this poor little girl. And because of his kindness, God told the little girl what he needed to do to get healed. And he was healed just like that. And you know what our one another's is? It's be kind to one another. Because the amazing thing is, is that it's not about me, it's about we. we. And when you're kind to someone, God is always kind to you and helps you. Isn't that so cool? Okay, we've got one more story to tell you about someone who was super kind and super caring and God took care of them as well. Our next story is about a mighty prophet, and his name was? Elijah. Elijah. Now, he was an amazing prophet of God, but there was a really ugly king called Ahab, and he was after. He wanted to kill him. He was chasing him. Yeah, and Elijah ran. <laughs> and he had nowhere to go, but all of a sudden, he came to the house of two? Shunammites? Shunammites. What's a Shunammite? I don't know, like a Marmite, but a Shunammite. Oh. Too right. Oh, but these are two really amazing people. And they said, Elijah, we have got a room for you. How wonderful is that? That is so kind and caring. That's like the Bible says, be kind to others. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did. But these Shunammite couple, they were a little sad. Mm, shame. It was very sad for them. They wanted children, but they couldn't have any. That little room, I'm sure, was for their child that they wanted one day. But they gave it to Elijah anyway. But you know what was amazing? God told Elijah 
He told Elijah what the issue was, and he told him that they wanted children. So Elijah, what did he do? He got down on his knees and he prayed, Heavenly Father, please will you come and bless this couple with children and... Bam! They had children! They How had wonderful! Children. Isn't that amazing? God showed kindness to the Shunammite couple because the Shunammite couple had showed kindness to... Elijah! That's exactly right! So girls and boys, are you guys going to be kind? I hope so. Are you going to be caring? Because the amazing thing is, if you guys are kind and caring, God will be kind and caring to you. Now, I know that you've got a really cool craft. You're going to make chains and all sorts of things. And you know what it's for? It's for the prison Sunday. And it's a little note to the prisoner to tell them that God still loves them. That's a way of showing super cool kindness and caring to someone that even though they made a mistake, God can still love them and still care for them. Can you boys and girls do that? I, I think so. You can. All right, thanks, Sam. And I hope you remember this story isn't just about me, it's about we. That was such a great story. This story shows us how God wants us to be kind to those around us. So don't forget to be kind to those that you interact with every day. This could be at school, on the playground, or even with your brother and sister that you fight with sometimes. So go out there and be kind to those around you. Let's close our eyes and pray here. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Please teach us to love those around us and that we'll be kind to them just as you are kind to everyone else. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next week. Bye. Hi guys, welcome to Craft Time. So today we learned to be kind to one another. And um, since we learned to be kind to one another, this is a way of showing that we are being kind to others. Since it's Prison Sunday, we're going to be writing, I'm um, encouraging messages to the prisoners just to remind them that God loves them and God has forgiven them. Okay, so for our craft, you're gonna need colorful paper and a marker to write your message. And some colors. Okay. Now you can um, ask your teacher to help you out with some encouraging verses, but we are going to have um, verses that you can choose from. Okay, so I've written my first verse, but if you can maintain a good handwriting, you can carry on just writing like this. But it would be smarter just to um, draw some lines separating the words um, so it can be neater to write within them. Okay. Okay, so this is the outcome of my craft. You can see I've written a few scriptures on the paper. You can also do the same by asking your teacher to help you with that. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed um, writing messages to the prisoners just to encourage them and show them that God loves them. Okay, bye, see you next week.